What's the hardest part about a wilderness canoe trip? We get this question all the time, and the answer might surprise you. You're probably thinking it must be the bugs. Bushwhacking through the forest, being exposed to the elements day in and day out, or maybe not knowing exactly where you are miles away from any help. But the hardest part of any wilderness canoe trip is getting you and your team and all your gear to the starting point. I wanna share with you guys the days leading up to our 2022 month-long wilderness canoe trip through the Arctic to hopefully help give you guys a better understanding of how hectic these days really are. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna share a few tips that you guys could use to help make these days a little less frantic. Let's get into it. In 2021, the Northwest Territories was essentially cut off for tourism because of COVID. So this year is an especially busy summer and we've been finding it very hard to get boats. We've been working with some guys up there since March. We're about a week from the start of this trip and we still have not figured out our boat situation. Our call volume has temporarily exceeded our capacity to answer or place your call on hold. I'm less than 16 hours away from my flight. I just got a text that my flight has been canceled. A whole bunch of articles the past week have been coming out about bags being lost, a whole bunch of canceled flights. We've got a very tight schedule to connect all these flights together to get to our float plane in time to get into the start of the trip. So a lot of things still need to line up. There's a flight now at 6.15 in the morning, tomorrow morning instead of 10. So I have to like get my stuff all together, get to the airport, fingers crossed that we can make this happen. Yo, <laughs> what's going on? all boat related stuff so we got throw bags some helmets got our life jackets over here then we move over here we've got like some paddles and stuff that's gonna be all lashed together like some bonus items like the get to Lely. tent sleeping bags clothes I've started a cooking pile here pots our uh, spatulas and cutlery and then we're in the, the food territory over here so we're at Jack Pine Outfitter here in Yellowknife picking up a 17 foot a skiff prospector for the trip. I love um, coffee yeah. today. Evan, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Cool. And here you Ready? go. Thanks. Right. Two spray skirts. Jackbine is a fairly new company in the world of remote Arctic expeditions, but it's owned and operated by Dan Wong. Uh, he grew up here in Yellowknife. When we offer remote guided expeditions throughout the Barrens, uh, the Mackenzie Mountains, as well as the High Arctic, uh, and then offer courses, Paddle Canada courses for whitewater canoeing, flatwater canoeing, and then we do a lot of work with different indigenous communities around the north. A bit more of what we're working with. This is where this northern based company has kind of our base of operations. We just got back, Evan and I, from a 12 day expedition in the Barrens, so all of our stuff is just scattered, drying out. So we're in the midst of trip cleanup, and that just means, you know, the yard becomes a yard sale. <laughs> <laughs> Steph Curry. Oh! So it's pretty essential that you have uh, this giant percolator. Even when you have to take care of your natural business, we also have uh, pretty much the most luxurious setup you can imagine. <laughs> really good opportunity. If you don't want to do a lot of logistics and planning, something to consider. Check them out. The link to their website is in the description below. Jack Pine only had one canoe available, so we rented a second from Overlander Sports. They were kind enough to allow us to drill holes in the side and install nylon webbing so we could attach our spray skirt to the canoe. Yeah. 800. So even if they factor more for the canoes than 300 pounds, we're still good. Yeah. Our weight checks in. Six o'clock on Sunday, July 3rd. We're at Air Tindy after 48 hours of a whirlwind of activities to get everything prepped and ready to go. Now is the final stop and take the plane to our starting point. Getting everyone and everything to the starting point is the hardest part of any wilderness canoe trip because once you're there, there's nothing else you can forget and nothing else you need to organize. You're simply living on the land, taking each day as it comes. Having a good team, giving yourself enough time to plan, and having a good understanding of the food and equipment needed for your trip are three ways that you can help make this time less hectic. But the number one thing that you could do that'll help you the most is have a flexible mindset. 
and be able to adapt when things don't go as planned. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.